In chapter 55 of Great Expectations, Pip tells Mr. Jaggers not to let Magwitch know that his fortune will not be inherited by Pip, but instead will be forfeited to the government. And since Pip has no legal tie to Magwitch, the young man can make no claim to Magwitch's funds and property. At Pip's residence, Herbert tells Pip he has to leave soon for Cairo on business. Herbert asks if Pip would consider taking a position as a clerk at the Cairo office, with the possibility of one day becoming a partner. Pip thanks Herbert for the offer and says he'll consider it. Near his residence, Pip encounters Wemmick, who asks Pip to accompany him on a walk next Monday morning. Pip agrees. When Pip arrives at Wemmick's castle, he meets Wemmick and they go for the walk, with Wemmick carrying a fishing rod. Pip views this as odd because they're not going fishing, but he says nothing. As if by chance, Wemmick and Pip make their way to a church and go inside. There, Wemmick puts down the fishing rod and puts on a pair of white gloves. Pip then notices the aged P leading Miss Skiffins, also wearing white gloves, to the altar. Wemmick and Miss Skiffins get married, with Pip serving as the best man. After the ceremony, on the way out of the church, Wemmick picks up the fishing rod and tells Pip, let me ask you whether anybody would suppose this to be a wedding party. After breakfast, Wemmick asks Pip not to let Jaggers know about the marriage, and Pip assures him he won't. In Chapter 56 of Great Expectations, a very ill Magwitch is moved from the prison house to the infirmary, where he awaits trial. Pip visits him on a regular basis and watches Magwitch become progressively weaker. During the trial, Magwitch sits at the front of the dock, and Pip sits near him outside the dock and holds his hand. Magwitch is found guilty and sentenced to death. Pip writes petitions to officials asking for a reprieve, but he expects none. Pip makes daily visits to Magwitch in the infirmary, where the convicted man waits for his execution. Magwitch's health continues to deteriorate, but he expresses his gratitude to Pip for staying by him. One day, sensing that Magwitch is about to die, Pip tells him that his daughter lives and is a beautiful lady, and that he loves her. Unable to talk, Magwitch kisses Pip's hand and then dies. <sighs>